Welcome back, everybody. Now, the big game, you know, the biggest football game in the world, right? Of course. It's just around the corner, and that means that everyone has football on their minds. Everybody does, including me. I love football, and it takes me back to the days, you know, when I was a cheerleader. Were you a cheerleader? I was. I was a high school cheerleader. So was I. I was the captain. I can so see you doing that, but do you think you have as much energy now as you did then? Oh, my gosh. I have more. And you know what I was thinking this time? The big game is in South Florida, and I was yeah. thinking, what would it be like to, to, to actually be a professional NFL cheerleader? I bet it's a little different than the days of high school. It really is. And guess what? I was invited to the Miami Dolphins cheerleading camp. You're kidding. You were a cheerleader for the day? Uh-huh. Want to see it? Absolutely. Don't laugh. Okay. Take yeah, a look. Of course I won't. Welcome, my name is Emily Newton and I'm the director of the Miami Dolphins Cheerleaders. And these are the ladies. They're so young! <laughs> I was talking to you a little earlier, you were telling me how many girls audition for this? We usually have over 500 applicants every year and um, we go through the audition process and get the girls down on final audition stage to about 40 ladies. 40 lucky girls, so you guys are good! <laughs> You guys can get down. So they are the best of the best. They practice what, three times a week, you told me? They do. They practice three nights a week, three hours a night. It helps keep them in the greatest shape of their lives. So you guys do this nine hours a week, and I'm going to learn something in what? Three hours? <laughs> Gosh. So first thing we want to do is we want to get you dressed like a cheerleader. Would you like to come to your locker room? Oh, OK. <laughs> This is your locker, <gasps> Christy. Oh my God! <laughs> Look at that! You guys are so cool! All for you. I got my picture, my name, and this is your uniform right here. Oh my gosh! Boots. No, no, no! This is from my little daughter. <laughs> I can't do this. Yes. My husband will like this. <laughs> will. Can I take it home? And every cheerleader needs her pom-pom. Oh, I love this. This is the best part. This I remember. <laughs> Sweetheart, here I come. <laughs> OK, let's go. <laughs> Okay, Emily, I can dance, but I'm not that great. So who's going to teach me? Well, tonight we're actually going to have Tiffany. She's one of our Hi. captains on the team, and she's going to teach you the pregame strut. Yes, we do this performance every game, okay. so it's really important to us, and I'm sure you'll be fabulous. Take it easy on me, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go. We're going to start our feet together, hands on our hips. Open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's go back and do that again, please. Now walk right, left, right, left, right, left. Five, six, seven, eight. You got that perfect. This is a fast motion. I'm just showing you exactly how we do it. Beth, why aren't you here? <laughs> One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. <laughs> I've actually never interviewed a Dolphins cheerleader, and the stereotype is not a very good one. Do you guys get that? Yeah? Yeah. We, we get stereotyped all the time. In other words, like what? Like that we just stand on the field and shake our palms and don't really do much, just flip our hair. And yet, a lot of you guys have so much more to offer. I mean, somebody told me they're studying clinical psychology? Yes, I just finished my bachelor's and I'm starting um, a master's PhD program in clinical psychology. For you! <laughs> and someone else is studying to be a nurse? Yes, actually, I'm starting my second career in nursing. I have a bachelor's degree in accounting. So you guys do much more than this. Okay, so I guess let me ask you, why do you do it? I mean, this is your fourth year, right? Yes. Um, I've always loved to dance and perform, and I've been a Dolphins fan since I was a little girl. My dad took me to the games, and you know what? I saw the camaraderie and how amazing it is to be a part of such a unique organization, and every year I just keep coming back because I've made amazing friends, and I've had tremendous experiences traveling overseas to perform for the military, which are definitely some of the, you know, the best ones for me. All right, so we're gonna go now, I believe, into the bubble. Yes, ma'am, we're gonna ready to perform it. What's the bubble? Oh my word, this is the bubble? This is the Miami Dolphins indoor training facility, yes. I mean, this is the size of a regular football field. It is, it's absolutely the size of a regular football field. This is where the players train and the cheerleaders train at night. And they're gonna start all the way there in the zero yard line and go all the way down to the end? 
they're going to start all the way down here, and they'll end up on the other side of the field, and we do that at every single game. Okay, but I'm not going to do that today, am I? You're going to do a little bit of it. Oh, my <laughs> Just a little bit. This has been so much fun. Okay, let's go do the last part. This is it. This is my grand finale, okay? <laughs> let's go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, Emily, I'm going to be completely honest. When I got here, I was so nervous. You saw me. I did. I saw you. You were so nervous. <laughs> but I had a great time. You I did. really did. Good. We're so happy. And I learned a lot. I learned a lot about what y'all do, and I applaud everything you guys do. So I want to thank you, everybody here, for taking the time to be with me tonight. Tiffany, thank you for your patience. I had a ball. And now patience, you got to say goodbye to the viewers of The Balancing Act. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Gosh, we had so much fun. I had a great time. I actually missed you. Oh, uh, well, you know, I would have been out there dancing with you. I'm not sure if I would have put on the actual uniform, though. <laughs> you would have looked great. And let me tell you, those girls are sharp. They really have a lot going for themselves. Well, you know, there's definitely, like you said in the piece, there's a, a stereotype that goes along with the word cheerleader, and they certainly, they can challenge that. They can. And by the way, that challenge that I did, mm -hmm. that's a first, and that's a last, never again. And we have it on tape <laughs> to watch it over and over and over again. And I have to say, you know how to dance, my friend. Thank you so much. You and so you know well. what? Next week, we've got a great segment for you. We're actually to profile a very special dolphin cheerleader as she revisits her past. It's a great story. Oh, wow. I look forward to seeing that, and be sure you don't miss it either.